Okay, so um, this is the second lecture, and what I wanted to talk about before I was really interrupted by something that is I found that you have to be in a top angle, like for the first and second dimension. If you add threes to it, if you add three other dimensions to it, you have to be on a top angle, like. Let's say this is a square. You have to see it like this, like this, because if you see it, it's actually high, because it's the fifth dimension, not the second. So if you see it like this, you can see it as the second dimension, right? But if you see it like this, you can see there's a wall, high, it's high, not the second dimension. So for the first and second, because you can see it like this, you, you see a point like this you see a line okay but if the line is thick okay thick then from a top angle you can see it it looks like a line okay well, it looks two dimensional but it's close it's something it's close so but the third dimension let's see what happens with that Oh, by the way, we didn't actually talk about the third dimension too much. So there's corners of cubes in like one big cube at one point. Now, you need to see this from a corner view, where you can see it from a corner. So where you can see a cube, a small cube, and that big cube. Only then can you realize it's a six-dimensional object. Six? Yes, six-dimensional object. Because if there's cube corners on the cube, it's six dimensional. Cube co every corner has a cube, is that what you mean? Every corner has a cube, yes. But they vary in size. Some smaller than others. Okay. The biggest one. The biggest one. Well. There's no specific point for it. It could be anywhere if you want it to be. So, the biggest one would actually be the main cube you started from to make that six dimension. Main cube, okay? Mm -hmm. Then, this is a smaller cube, even though it looks the same. Just imagine it's a smaller cube, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, joints, even smaller cubes. Pro this joint is probably the same as this. Since this became the same, the same amount of smaller than this, as this. So these two cubes, this one and this one, have, the, have both the same volume. This joint here is a cube and this cube here has the same volume. This cube here, though, is smaller than this one, okay? Smaller than this one and this one, okay? So if you go down to the sixth dimension, okay? If you go down, just imagine two of these just going down. Then the the one below this is going to be the same as this joint over here. Mm -hmm. And the one below this is going to be the same as this one and this one, okay? Mm -hmm. So practically there's a number of variations that can, that happens because of this. If you understand it very well, you can, you know actually the pattern it goes through. So now, you can go even further. That's another thing. That's why I say it continues on. And you can't have, if you go over infinity, if you really... What do you mean over infinity? Do you mean over infinity? <laughs> well, listen to this. You can go infinity plus one, same thing, infinity. Yeah. But you have to be specifically at infinity. You can't just say infinity one, infinity plus one, okay? Which is still infinity, I know, but infinity plus one is a statement we use, okay? You use? Who uses? You can use the statement. You know? I don't think it makes any sense because it's the same result as infinity. What's infinity minus one? See, you don't know. So what's infinity plus one? It's infinity, yes. But you can still write it. Infinity minus one plus one. Same thing. Okay, okay. That's infinity plus zero, practically. <laughs> or minus zero, it makes zero sense. <laughs> so, 
What I'm trying to say is, it has to be specifically infinity. Not infinity plus one, I know it's still infinity, but it could be something like infinity minus one as well. It can't be that. It just crosses out, okay? It just has to be infinity. Okay, so what's your point? My point is, it has to be specific numbers. If it goes over infinity, it can't work. If it goes under infinity, it can't work. Yeah, because but it goes to infinity as one point. We need to come back to your single dimension yeah, yeah, theory. Yeah. Okay, so now 6 plus 3, 5 plus 3, 4 plus 3 equals to 7, equals to 8, and equals to 9. Yeah, but what about them? What about them? Well, so you're adding all those dimensions. Uh, three For the third dimension, it's actually easy to understand it. It's part of the third time. It's part of the three times table. Part of it. Because as the three times table goes, well, yeah, it's the whole three times table. Um, three, the, six, yeah, nine. Yeah, at one point, if you count the three times table, all of the numbers, not the numbers like three multiplied by three, not that. If you count all of the numbers, okay, all of them that are equal to something, like those numbers equal to something, that equal number, that final number, if you count all of them, they always make a cube at one point. Really? Always, yes, always. How is that? How's that? Check the ninth dimension. The ninth dimension is the same thing as the sixth dimension. Just imagine cubed corners on those on one big cube but now those small cubed corners have cubed corners on them <laughs> like this right right let's right. do the eighth dimension first which okay is so you mean they're making cubes that's why okay let's first do the eighth dimension okay this is the line here my joints again okay eighth dimension as we said here logically here, 8 dimension, 5 plus 3, okay, got it? Yeah. So, here, now, what we have to do is, well, now, these are cubes, right? Now, these cubes are big, super big, compared to the cubed corners they have. They're filled with cubed corners, because after the 6th dimension, there's the 7th dimension, which is, you know, the sixth dimension is cubed corners, right? On a cube. So, hypercube and those two cubes in a hypercube have cubed corners. Then, eighth dimension, which um, is like a square at one point, but has cubed corners, all of those cubes. And then, the ninth dimension, a cube with cubed corners, which has cubed corners. Kind of weird, right? Yeah, I stopped thinking about it. Okay, just wait, just wait, last one. So, this continues on, like the 12th dimension, then the 15th dimension. Let me just explain it to you for a while. A small really? time, small time, okay. <laughs> As if so, I understand So, the 12th dimension is a cube with cubed corners, which has cubed corners, which has cubed corners. The 15th dimension is a cube, which has cubed corners, which has cubed corners, which has cubed corners, which has cubed corners. <laughs> kind of weird. But if you can imagine it, it's, it's kind of easy. But why are they having cube corners instead of having, you know, uh, when the dimension increases the corners... Points. No, the corner starts becoming fourth uh, dimension object and then the, the corners start becoming the fifth dimension object. Yes, that's a good assumption. But it, o it only becomes cubed corners because it's in the max level. This is a hypothesis that I'm just making. It's in the mass level of singular, single dimensions. I should call it singular dimensions, actually. Yeah, but max level? Yes. You Where can only go up to three. Why? Because they're static? Yes. Hmm. The fourth dimension is not static. The fifth dimension is not static. That's the case. And so continue, they're not static. So it's like That's you're fixing some points mm -hmm. to make the other dimensions. Uh, because if they're static, then it's easier for you to fix those dimensions, right? I mean, yeah, fix those. Dimensions. But what did you? But could you actually think about? If they were static, there would be a gazillion different pictures to see them. Which is wrong. 
So probably you should start thinking about a new theory now that the corners Why? are the corners. Why is it wrong? Because how can you have gazillion combinations? What gazillion combinations did you understand by that? Gazillion, gazillion ways of looking at it. No. What? No, 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 no. If you think about that, you're wrong. What I wanted to say is there are a gazillion combinations of of well just wait I, I kind of forgot it but I was saying something that doesn't match what you were saying okay <laughs> okay so gazillion combinations like yes not gazillion combinations gazillion pictures the fourth dimension if it wasn't moving if there were different, there would have to be different, different styles of the fourth dimension. Hmm. Different pictures of the fourth dimension. So that's why you can say, if you can't have a video, you need to have a bunch of pictures. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's the same thing with the fourth dimension. If you can't have the video, which is it moving constantly, you need a gazillion pictures and they should be all static. To make that video. Yes, if you're considering it to be static, that is. If you don't consider it that. No, but I'm considering it static because you said that the corners of this dimension, that are adding dimensions in the corner, there should be only cube, which is static. But did you think about what would a happen cube, if the corners are not static? Those cubes are static. Those cubes are static. Yeah, but what would happen if it's not static? Wait a second. Those cubes aren't static, actually. Those cubes move in fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension. If no, no, you're in but the, the cubes, dimension, but the cubes themselves don't change. The, if you're in the sixth dimension, there's cubes of cubes. Then those cubes don't change. If you're in the ninth dimension, though. It's a different situation. Six dimensional cubes, which have cubed corners on them. Different situation considers this. This is a six dimensional cube, imagine. Okay? Mm -hmm. Six dimensional cube. Now, it's not a cube anymore if it's six dimensional. I mean, you mean six dimensional Yeah, object. I know it's not a cube anymore, but it, ha it looks like a cube from angles, okay? okay. It has cubed corners, okay? Hmm. Now, don't look. The six-dimensional cube has to move. The three-dimensional cube in that situation of a six dimension doesn't move because if it moves like it usually does, like circular motion like this, like this, that spins like this and this, that, it, that doesn't work for the motion the six dimension is using. But, 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 but the six dimension is moving like this. It's like moving like this. When it moves like this, it moves like this. It moves like this. In how many planes? How many planes? It moves in, let's see, one, two, three. Three planes? Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six planes. Yeah, see? <laughs> well, it moves like that because, look, it's... Co so, so, okay, let's start easier. Fourth dimension moves like this, right? Mm-hmm. But the fifth dimension, my joints, okay, look at my joints. They move like this, and at the same time, they move like this. So this fo this fourth dimensional cube comes to this fifth dimension here, contracts, okay, like mm. this. So at one point, it just becomes a cube. So with the sixth dimension, it's cube corner and becomes a cube. Cube or hypercubes? It becomes a cube, but, 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 but. It's a bunch of cubes inside a cube, which we actually are discussing now. Hmm. Hmm. So, just for the sake of discussion, I wanted to say one thing. That since the sixth dimension moves, and the sixth dimension has cubed corners, and we're talking about the ninth dimension, only then it'll happen. And do you know what'll happen? In the ninth dimension, the sixth dimension, dimensional cubed corners, which has cubed corners, of course, will move because 
in the way the ninth dimension is going to move, the sixth standing dimension has to react. And the third dimension, which is the ninth dimension has cubed corners, the six the six dimensional cubed corners, which is the ninth dimensional cubed corners of cubed corners, won't move. So the main thing, as I told you, singular dimensions, they're static, static, static. But if you see them in different ways in the different dimensions, they do move. And they do move in weird ways. Now, this, this, this doesn't occur ever, but if it does occur, which is kind of, kind of super weird, a cube, okay? Just a cube. A cube is moving this way, this way, and this way. That's three ways, right? Mm -hmm. But they're moving from this way, this way, this direction, this direction, this direction, this direction, this direction, this direction. So they, they move in six ways, actually. Mm -hmm. That's the sixth dimension. And they don't have cubed corners, by the way. Now that is weird because it doesn't work unless you make a machine do that work. Because if you're trying to make the sixth dimension, it's really hard, okay? And what I wanted to say is, start, practically, all this discussion leads to one thing mm -hmm. that I wanted to tell. Up to the third dimension, starting from the first dimension, okay? All of them are static in a different way than the fourth dimension could have different pictures or could move differently than them. So is the sixth dimension and so on, fifth dimension and whatever. Okay, so they move statically different angles, different way that they move statically one way. But starting from the fourth dimension to the infinity dimension, they move statically, differently, somehow, something, okay? Now this can actually be Come done with two different situations which I haven't thought about but I know it can be done by two different situa situations that the fourth dimension has a bunch gazillions maybe infinity a bunch of um, infinity infinity okay infinity <laughs> okay, I can't say it too In fine, infinite, that's it. Okay, an infinite hmm. amount of, of the infinite amount of pictures. That's one way if the fourth dimension or whatever dimension, every dimension starting from the fourth dimension is static. Now, that's not the situation I was using, but that's the situation that I just saw can work. But only if it has unlimited pictures. Unlimited. From different angles. Mm. Okay, unlimited pictures from different angles. And that's all you need. That's all you need. You don't even need something it to move. Because it's already hard for it to move. You have to wait a point. So you have to wait for it. But a bunch of pictures though, it's a different situation. But if you have them all messy, then it's a different situation. It'll take much longer than to just wait to move. Hmm. But you never know. Maybe there's so many pictures and it's, it's the picture that you want, which is like the line picture, might be in the middle of all those pictures. They get moved from so many angles and moves through so much. It might go like a long time. It might take the same amount of time for finding different diff for a pic finding a mm, a picture through a bunch of messy pictures okay mm -hmm. about the same hypercube or whatever you're doing about mm, it's like the fourth dimension and on that th these are two situations a bunch of pictures mm -hmm. or one Did moving you? object one moving object, uh, continuously moving in the Yes, a continuously moving object that 
as a moves, camera. Moves, moves the smallest distant, and then like it's like this. It goes straight, then slightly moves like the smallest distance ever. Mm. Okay, like all it's like completely touching, like the second movement, the first movement. The second movement is touching the first. That's, that reminds me of uh, tangent and. Yeah, it's kind of tangent thing. So, and uh, limits, right? Yeah, yeah, something like that. So, so, what kind of math do you think 